all on my lane. Hey. You ain't overlooked, yeah, yeah. so get out the way. Hey. Yeah. I gave you the book, what, what. I gave you the game. Uh. The boy got a cook, yeah, yeah. The boy got a flame, yeah. Serving in the kitchen like a Nino. Plenty bitching, whipping different flavors like a bistro. Kick it, dip it, flip it, keep it hunting like a C note. Switch it, keep it pimping every single place that he go. I got it. Lathan got the flame, Lathan got the flame. Boy, you know the name, get up out the way. Lathan got the flame, Lathan got the flame. Stay up out the kitchen if you ain't the one that's whipping, huh? Hey, yo, Lathan, man, cook them boys up something real quick, man. Hey, what's going on, Bistro family? And welcome back to my channel. Now, today we got the most amazing shrimp po' boy with black and ranch. Um, this video was inspired by Chef Kenyatta Ashford. Um, anybody know him? He's the chop champion. And I recently worked with him on an event that he had, um, that he asked me, could I give him a hand with? So, this video is strictly to pay homage to him. Um, now, so the first thing I'm going to do is get you a good tomato. And that is a local tomato. And get it cut into slices. And then we're going to begin to work on our black and ranch. And you can make your own ranch, but for this, I want it to be really easy for you guys. So get your favorite ranch and just add some blackening seasoning to it. And you know the blackening seasoning of my choice is Chef Paul Perdome, um, Redfish Magic. So once you get that blackening ranch made, go ahead and get you some lettuce um, chopped up. Or you can leave it whole, but I like mine's chopped. And so we got our tomatoes, our lettuce. Now one thing we did miss off on this pet po' boy is some pickles, but that'd be okay. All right, so get your um, batter together, and I'm just using some Louisiana fish fry batter. Now you can use your own batter, and I actually can link a video down below uh, showing you how to fry shrimp using your own batter. But like I said, I want this video to be very simple and easy for you guys. And fish fry, fish fry batter would be something easy you can grab. All right, so you're gonna get that tossed into that fish fry batter mix and get it um, popped on a plate, and that is lemon pepper. Uh, fish fry batter mix and then we're gonna go ahead and fry it and if you need help on frying fish I mean a frying shrimp I'll link that video down for you below but I want to make this video as quick as possible and if it's something that I previously did on the channel I just linked that video to show you the process on that all right once you get that chop I mean fit shrimp fried go ahead and get you some good hoagie bread and this right here is some local um, bakery fresh um, hoagie rolls and um, you're gonna cut them completely in half. And once you get them cut in half, we're gonna begin to um, brown it and that's create some texture with this bread. Um, so yeah, go ahead and get your bread cut in half and this is fresh bread and you wanna kinda um, create some kind of texture. That's why we toast in this bread because you don't want this bread to be completely soft. You wanna have some kind of contrast, especially um, so the uh, tomato and lettuce don't soak all into the bread. So you want some sort of contrast. Once you get that bread looking like that, golden delicious, go ahead and pop your lettuce on the bottom. This is amazing. All right, and it's so simple. And then go ahead and from the lettuce, go ahead and put your tomatoes on top of the lettuce. And we're gonna actually season those tomatoes. And we're gonna season them with a little salt and pepper. You know, ain't nothing like a bland tomato. So make sure you season those tomatoes. And then from there, we're gonna begin um, to pop our shrimp on there. So once you season it with um, salt and pepper, go ahead and begin to pile that shrimp on there. And you can pile how much shrimp you want on there. It's pretty much your preference when it comes to the shrimp. And you're gonna see me, I'm gonna pile it up high because like I said, these po' boys, you wanna pile it up. You want to make this the most delicious sandwich you can because we only got a couple elements going into this sandwich. So that shrimp is the star of this dish. So go ahead and pile that shrimp on there. Once you get all that good shrimp piled on there, go ahead with our black and ranch and drizzle that on there. You can use mayo if you wanted to, but that black and ranch just took this to the next level with that lemon pepper flavor in the shrimp. And there you have it, man. The most amazing shrimp po' boys with black and ranch from the bistro. Like I said, this video was inspired by Chef Kenyatta Ashford, one of the most amazing chefs of our generation, not just in Chattanooga, but period. Um, he's a um, New Orleans native, but he's here in Chattanooga making a great impact, especially for young black chefs like myself. And I appreciate him and his stamp that he 
uh, put on the culinary world. And this is me paying homage to him making this incredible sandwich. It don't do his no justice, so you can get down to his restaurant and check out his po' boys, but this is just me paying homage. I want to thank you guys for checking this video out. Like, comment, share, subscribe. Shrimp po' boy with black and the ranch from the, ranch, from the beach. <laughs> All right, I'll catch you guys on the flip side. I'm out.